Hello there. As you can see here, I am holding what is or used to be almost two snare drums. They're absolutely filthy and disgusting. They've been separated into several different parts and it looks as though I have just snagged these right out of the dumpster. Perhaps I have, who knows? So I've had these snare drum parts sitting around for quite some time now, not really doing anything with them. So my ultimate goal for this video here today is to take these two hunks of junk and turn them into two actual usable, somewhat cool looking snare drums. So step one here, we need to look at everything we have and assess what little parts and bits and bobs we're gonna need to purchase in order to create two full working snare drums because we are missing a few parts. So after the initial assessment here, I found that we're going to need quite a few items. For snare number one, which is the one that has these weird, these weird contact microphones in here, which I'm going to take off. We're going to need new snare wires because those are absolutely trashed and they're just cheap snare wires anyways. Also obviously going to need new hardware and I may consider getting some new lugs and we're also going to need a new batter head as well. For snare number two, which is in a little bit better shape, it's a little bit cleaner. We're pretty much going to need all the same things except for this one is actually going to need a new snare side head and it's going to need a new throw off mechanism for the snare wires and you've probably been sitting there thinking to yourself well Felix both of these snare drums look pretty much identical to each other and they're really boring so you're just gonna make two of the same boring plain metal snare drums no I do have a little bit of a plan on how I'm gonna color the shells so that they're a little bit more interesting and then I can get a little bit more creative with it. But now that we have an idea of what we actually need, step two is going to be getting on the computer, browsing the interwebs, surfing the net in order to purchase the items that we need. All right, so after meticulously selecting the items that I'm going to purchase here, I think I am finally ready to make my purchase. This is gonna cost me $127. Yeah, I know, it's a lot. However, I do have a plan. I'll explain it later. Anyways, for now, we're gonna make my wallet cry. There we go. I just placed my order from Sweetwater.com. If you wanna check out any of the items that I purchased here today, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you, for you to check them out. This video is not sponsored by Sweetwater, but I do have some affiliate links. If you're interested and you'd like to support the channel, definitely go check those out. But now we pretty much just have to wait a couple days for all of our items to arrive. Whilst we are waiting for our items to arrive, there are a few things that we can do here at home with the items we already have. Primarily, that is going to consist of polishing up all this dirty, disgusting chrome that we're dealing with here. It's pretty bad and we have a lot of it. Right here in my hands, I hold the secret formula. To polishing up chrome. This right here is steel wool. Lana de acero. Also, but not just any steel wool. This is the lowest grade of steel wool. Super fine steel wool. And we can just take this bad boy right here and rub off all that dirty, disgusting, gross, rustiness that's all over the chrome on our drums. So right now I'm taking off all the stuff on the outside, the lugs and little knobs and little bits and bobs. I can see that some of these lugs have been replaced. You can tell because the spring in this one is super rusty, but this one is nice and shiny. But right now we're not gonna worry about that. The main focus is just getting all the gunk off of here. So it took a little while, but after a lot of cleaning and polishing, we have these two slightly nicer looking snare drum shells. But listen to this right here. This is pretty interesting. You get two totally different sounds from the drums when you do that, so I have a feeling that they are gonna sound maybe a little bit different. But anyways, right now we have a bigger task at hand. So if you remember earlier, I mentioned something about not wanting these to just be two identical, boring steel metal snare drums. So I have a plan for how we're gonna color them, but first I need some supplies. <laughs> So unfortunately, we did end up spending another 75 buckaroons, but I'm not too mad about it because we got some cool stuff. More steel wool, but this one is the triple zero kind. 1200 grit sandpaper, black spray paint, purple spray paint, purple glitter spray paint. I say purple, but the cap is kind of multicolored, so we'll see how it actually turns out. Blue glitter spray paint, primer, clear coat, polish. And now we begin the painting phase. All right, ladies and gents, as you can see, we are now outside in painting mode. This is our painting setup here. We have a piece of wood strewn between two chairs. First thing we have to do is tape off any areas we don't want paint on and then sand this baby down. All 
All right, so this is pretty much sanded. All I have to do now is just clean it, wipe it down a little bit. The reason that we're sanding this is because the metal is a very glossy finish and we want something for the primer to actually be able to stick on. We're kind of just scratching it up so that primer can really get in there and stick to the drum. I grabbed a longer board because I realized I don't really want to spray paint these chairs right here. Here we go, primer going on. I'm gonna give this like two or three minutes and then I'm just gonna do another light coat over top of it. Looking pretty good though so far. All right, so now we're gonna give this about 15 minutes to dry pretty good and then I'm gonna get in there and sand it again so that it's nice and smooth. I got some almonds. It's getting pretty dark on the camera, but we are ready for paint. Purple, specifically. All right, so we're finished with the main purple base layer. Now we got this sparkly stuff. I'm excited for this. All right, so now the final piece of the painting puzzle here is gonna be this clear coat. All right, so it's been a couple days, but look what we got here. Purple black. The reason the tape on the purple one is still blue is because I took the tape off and then I realized it wasn't as shiny as I wanted it to be. So I ended up getting a different clear coat. I used this lacquer finish clear coat instead. It's about seven bucks for a can of this. And this is because I really wanted to have that nice, smooth, shiny finish, which as you can see, I definitely achieved to some degree. The one major thing that I did differently is laying on the clear coat really thick. One of the videos I watched on how to do this, the guy said, do not put the clear coat on really thick because it'll drip. And I agree, you definitely don't want to have any drips but I just sprayed it on as thick as possible before the point of the drippage. Also you might remember when I did my paint supplies haul I got blue sparkles. I ended up doing a little test on a piece of wood and I found that I really liked the black and multicolor sparkle a lot better than the black and blue sparkle. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but it also reminds me a lot of one of the coolest drums I've probably ever seen, which is a 60s Slingerland Mardi Gras finish snare. But we are not done just quite yet. We still have a few more steps that we need to complete here. The first of which I know some of you are going to enjoy, the tape peeling. That would have been satisfying if I did it better. <coughs> the smell is not great in here. I'm just releasing little flecks of paint into the air, into the atmosphere. Perhaps this one will be a more satisfying peel. No. <laughs> oh yeah, that's satisfying, all right. Is this an ASMR channel? Welcome to my ASMR channel. So I know I did this earlier in the video, but I'm curious to see if the paint and everything has actually changed the fundamental pitch of the drums. Now we need to wet sand and then put a polishing compound on these drums. And those are gonna be the final steps of the finishing process before we can put all the hardware back on. We got 1200, 1500, and 2000 grit. We're gonna sand the drums in that order. All right, so we got both of these bad boys sanded down and let me tell you, they are now very smooth. You can almost tell just even on camera. But now the final step, we're gonna take some of this ultimate polishing compound, put it on that bad boy, and hopefully it's gonna make these nice and shiny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're at the final step of the process here, the assembly. As you can see here, we have a package. Tension rods, snare throw off, cheap snare wires, not so cheap Ludwig 1963 snare wires, candy from Sweetwater. Not bad. Hazy finish, Remo Emperor snare side head, Remo Emperor vintage coated head, and a Remo pinstripe coated head. The bottom head that I already had is a Remo Diplomat, and that's what I'm gonna put on this one. First, we're going to equip this drum with all of the lugs. The lugs are now on, already looks super cool. Now we're gonna put on the snare throw off and the butt plate thing. And now finally, we can equip the heads and hoops. Quick little tip here for using cheap lugs like this. You wanna take some white lithium grease and put them inside the lugs when you put the tension rods in. This will make the drum a lot easier to tune and you'll actually be able to tune it up a little bit higher as well.
Okay, we've got a minor hiccup here. One of the lugs actually just broke. The thing that you screw the tension rod into just broke clean off. So now we are actually definitely going to need a new lug. <sighs> so the excursion to find a drum lug was unsuccessful. I did, however, get some new hi-hats, so it wasn't fully unsuccessful. <laughs> Went to Sam Ash looking for a drum lug and didn't get a drum lug, but I got these. Neither Sam Ash nor Guitar Center had drum lugs, so I had to order one on the interwebs and now we have to wait for it to get here. <sighs> Hello ladies, two things happened while I've been waiting for the lug to come. Number one, I got sick, as you can probably hear. Number two, I realized I'm just gonna put the new lug on the black drum anyway, so I'll take one of these lugs and put it on the purple one, which means I will actually be able to fully assemble the purple drum. However, there's another problem, and this one is kind of a big one. I realized that the snare throw off, or snare strainer as they're sometimes called, does not fit on the black drum. But I thought to myself, that's fine, I'll just return this one and I'll get one that actually fits this size. And let me tell ya, it is impossible to find one that is this size. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have to drill another hole, which I really, really, really wanted to avoid doing. So, yeah, we'll deal with that later. For now, we're just gonna assemble the purple one so that we actually have at least one drum here to mess around with. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beaut right there. All right, so for those of you who don't know how to put on a drum head, what you wanna do is take all the tension rods and get them finger tight. So twist them with your fingers until you can't tighten them anymore. Once you do that, you can grab yourself a drum key. You wanna pick a lug to tighten, but remember how much you tighten it. So I'm gonna start right here and just do one, two turns. And now I'm gonna go across and do one, two turns. And now I'm gonna go to the one next to it. One, two turns. Then I'm gonna go across from this one. Now I'm just going to keep repeating that until I get it tight enough. Just to demonstrate, I showed two turns, but it's definitely going to take a lot more than two turns. You may hear some sounds like that. That's essentially just the drum head breaking in, that like crackling sound. You can actually even press on it like this. So when you get snare wires, they give you these plastic things. You might have seen like clear plastic ones. I don't like these at all. I prefer to use string to secure my snare wires. I think it looks cooler and it also functions a little bit better. So I just cut some out of some hemp cordage and I'm going to use these to secure the wires. All right, so this one is pretty much done. I think the only thing we have left to do is just put it on the kit back there and hear how it sounds. Okay, you can't really see it, but I do have the purple snare here. And I think we just got to give this thing a proper playing test. It's pretty loud. <laughs> I'm gonna test it out to see how it sounds with the shirt method that I normally use. So the purple snare, I'm calling it a success. It's very fun to play. It's a very snappy little snare. It's also very loud even when muffled. It also just looks super cool as well. But we're gonna do the full comparison and sound test and everything once I get the black snare drum figured out. Probably the next clip you see is gonna be me figuring out some sort of solution for that. Frick it, dude. It's time to drill. I'm standing like this so my face will be illuminated properly. Listen, I wanted to avoid doing this at all costs. I don't want to mess up the paint that we've already done, but this is our only option because I spent an entire day looking for a snare straighter that would actually fit on this thing and I couldn't find one. <sighs> we're drilling. And we're just going to hope and pray that this goes well. Ow, I just dropped that on my foot. Ow. Come on, let's bring home the bacon. This needs to go well. We got one shot at this. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Come on, we just got a little bit of a ways to go. There we go. Lesson learned, always check that before painting the drum. Let's see if the strainer actually fits on now. <clears throat> there are not enough words in the English language to properly illustrate how much I hate this snare strainer right here. I just spent the last 45 minutes to an hour putting this thing on because the screws that it comes with would only screw in halfway So I had to rig up some insane contraption where I used the end of a socket wrench and pliers to move the screws like a 16th of an inch at a time PDP. Yeah, that stands for pretty d deplorable product. I will never, as long as my lungs breathe air and my heart pumps blood, use this snare strainer ever again on another drum ever. I'm not even going to link it in the description because it's so bad and I don't even want anybody to click on it and for PDP to even have an inkling of a thought that somebody would ever want to purchase this snare strainer because it's so bad. And it's probably going to break in a month anyways. So anyways, now let's put the lugs on. Oh, <laughs> that's part of this too. Also, I forgot. All the way from Topeka, Kansas. I think that's where it's from. From supersonic music, my saviors, a new 
drum lug. And look at this, a personalized note. Thanks, Felix, from Kelly. Thank you, Kelly White, online sales manager from Supersonic Music. That's a company that knows how to do business properly. I'm putting Supersonic Music's brand new shiny new lug on the opposite side, as far away as possible from the PDP garbage snare strainer. The trials and tribulations here that I've experienced. We've come a long way, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're at the home stretch here. <laughs> Please just screw in, dude. I'm gonna have carpal tunnel, dude. My hands are cramping up. Oh, Lord. That's a beautiful lug. Better than I could ever do it. Ow, I just pinched my finger. For once in my life, let me get what I want this time. That's real. That's so real. That's how I feel on this project. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Look at that. It's almost snare drummed out, my friend. Fundamental pitch check? <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, I think it's head time. Hold up. Time to put drum heads on the drum. Ding dong. Snare heads. For the snare side head, guys, we have a, an imp uh, emp oh, I'm brain dead. Emperor Hazy snare side, 14 inch. It's a pretty thick boy. This is a thick boy for sure. Put a little lithium grease on there. Try not to get it on your pants. You'll have some questionable stains on your pants, mate. Oh, dude, that white stain on my pants? That's from lithium grease. Tip number one, don't lean into the drum after you've put lithium grease on the lugs. That's a pretty cool cool tip that I think everyone should follow. There we go. That's what you like to hear. One, two. It's snap, crackle, popping. All right, so the purple one got the crappy snare wires, but this one is getting the 63 Ludwig snare wires. Oh, these come with better straps too. I could use these if I want to, but I like the strings better. These are nice, dude. I think that's the black snare completed. Thank the Lord. Finally, this is pretty cool looking. It kind of looks like one of the black acrylite snares. I like this a lot. But now we need to do the official test comparing our two brand new snare drums. Man, I've got quite the collection going on now. All right, first we got to break this bad boy in. This one sounds pretty good too. I usually do not like the way that snares sound unmuted, but this one... It sounds good. Let's see how it sounds with the full-on shirt mute. All right, let's, uh, let's do the full comparison. So upon my analysis of these two snare drums, I've decided that I definitely like the black one better. On the purple one, the snare wires are a little bit choked. It's not too bad and I kind of did it intentionally, but I might mess around with that and see how it sounds afterwards. But that one is also a lot louder, like significantly louder than the black one. So I could definitely turn that one into a really good hard rock snare. But overall, I think that is pretty much going to do it for me in this one here today. It's honestly kind of hard to believe that I'm finally done with this project because this has taken me a long time. But if there's one thing I've learned from doing this project, it's that whatever life throws at you whatever challenges whatever mountains you gotta climb you gotta keep going you gotta push through and you gotta make it to the finish line you will never be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor if you don't spend the time cultivating the plant some wise words from your boy right here anyways thank you guys for watching i appreciate it as always i was actually going to end up trying to sell these snare drums at the end and try to make that part of the video but i kind of just ended up liking them quite a lot purple one maybe i'll sell it or something down the line if one of you guys is interested in buying it just let me know leave a comment should i make my own custom snare drums if any drum company wants to reach out to me and make a custom line of drums feel free feel more than welcome to do that because that would be cool. Enough yapping. Enjoy your day or night or afternoon or whatever it is. Stay safe out there and I will see you all next time. Get together and find out why she said she loved it when